had to do Superman today because I found my old Superman uh, leggings <laughs> in my wardrobe this morning. So let's start with, let's keep our shoulders down and we're just going to take it up and over. Take a big breath in. Keep the legs where they are, come back into warrior. Take it the other way. Breath in. And out. In. And out. And back into parallel. Interlink the fingers. Pull the scapula together. And chin towards the chest. Hips backwards into that nice square position or all the way down if you want. Letting your arms come up towards the ceiling, feeling the stretch through the chest and the back of the legs. Bring the hands back down towards the sacrum. Bring the hands back down towards the floor. Have a little rock forward and backwards. Into the ball of the foot, into the heel. Ball of the foot, into the heel, push the heels down, take your arms out to capital T, draw the belly in and then gently push through the heels, bring yourself back up to standing. Woo. And then the other side, so again, nice warrior pose, shoulders down, bring it over just into the mid stretch, take a breath in. And out. In. And out, gently up, shoulder blades down, and up to ceiling. Take a breath in. And out. Try and bend the knee a little bit more. Breath in. And out. Last one, breath in. Gently back up. This time keep the legs super, super wide. Take the hips back, keep them back into wood chop for four. For three, for two, for one, hold it down, take both hands to the foot or to the shin, letting the head hang towards the knee, feeling that deep stretch of the back of the legs. And then back to centre, push the heels into the mat, core connected, gently reset back up. And the other side, hips backwards, down for four, down for three, down for two, down for one. Hold it, both feet, both hands on the foot, sorry, head towards the knee. Feel that stretch. And then go into that front foot, unless you're not facing the camera. If you're face, not facing the camera, bring the hands to the other foot. Bring it round into that lunge position and come back up into a lunge. Take shoulders down, weight slightly forward, tight through the cut core. Let's go for 10 lunges. For nine, for eight, for seven, for six, five, four, three, two and one, weight into the front knee, back heel in a little bit, take the back heel down to the floor into that calf stretch, hold that position, hold, hold, hold and then just come up You can maintain that position or you can take hands onto the sacrum and just push a little bit into a back bend. I think we're harder on my balance than I thought that. And then come to the other side. And again, take that uh, back leg, hold, down into lunge for 10, for 9, for 8, for 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. Weight into the front knee, back heel into the floor. Feel the stretch through the calf. Keep that front knee bent. Beautiful. Keep it down, take the gaze up to ceiling, breath in through the nose. Out through the mouth. In. And back towards.
towards the heart, back to centre position. Okay, let's just do a little bit of balance work. So we're just going to tip, we're going to do this standing. Sometimes you can do this on the floor in four point kneeling, but we're just going to tuck the tailbone a little bit and then just bring it in like this. Lengthen and in. Lengthen so opposite arm and leg. Squeeze the glutes. Squeeze. Squeeze four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. Hold. Draw the tummy in. Pulls for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Well done. Take it into that position. Straighten the front leg. Chin to chest. Hips back. Gently down. Letting the head hang towards the knee. If you can't touch the floor, place the hands on the shin. You can keep the sole of the foot on the floor or you can push the heel into the mat. Raise the ball of the foot away. Tight the hamstrings feel, soften the knee and gently up. Beautiful, well done. Let's go to the other side. So try and keep headlights on the hips if you can. And then just opposite, arm and leg. Back in, sorry. Down, back in. Balance challenge. Three, two, hold it, hold, pulse. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Well done. Take that foot back, straighten the front leg, chin to chest, hips backwards, gently float down. Nice and slowly, letting the head hang towards the knee, hands on the shin or the floor. Take a breath in. And out. In. And out. One more. In. And out. Soften the front knee and gently back. Beautiful. Well done. Excellent. Okay, let's come to standing position. So we're going to take one foot to the front. So we've done hip extension for the booty. Now we're going to do a bit of flexion, a bit of abduction. We're going to make an arc shape. Lift for one, for two. Back to the arc. One, whoop. One, two. A lot of standing. And one, two. Try and keep headlights on the hips. Forward. One, two. Two, side, one, two, forward, one, two, one, two, two more, one, two, headlights on the hips, one, two, forward, one, two, forward, one, two, well done, bring it into a Quadricep stretch, Whoa, pull that heel into bum. Remember, you can always hold on to something, guys. Don't compromise the balance. Yeah, sorry, don't compromise the stretch for balance is what I meant to say. Hold. Whoa, that feels nice. And gently down the other side. So again, headlights on the hips. Draw the belly in. Out to the side, lift for one. So try not to do this for two. Back to centre, one two, take it side, one, keep that tummy engaged, and back, one, two, and back, one, two, and back, one, two, and back, one, two, working the hip in every direction, one, two, back, one, two, back, two more, 
lot different muscles you're working. One, two, back, one, two, back, last, one, back, well done. And then again, just try and get the knee next to the other knee. Tuck the tailbone a little bit, so tuck the tailbone under to feel the stretch. Well done, good work. Okay, I'll just give your legs a little bit of a wiggle. up. We're just gonna do one more, just in case I need it. Uh, so we're just gonna do one more balance and then we're gonna do an IT band stretch and then get down on the floor today. So keep the shoulders down, take your arms out and just push them back a little bit and then just circle. So you're kind of almost creating a stretch through the pectoral wall, the chest muscles, I'm working a little bit through the upper traps and then the other way. Four, three, two, one. And then just up for four. How strong do you feel, guys? Get someone to stand on the front on one leg that you don't that you know quite well. You'd be surprised how often people can not do it for more than a few seconds. Hold. Yeah, I feel like my balance feels really good later. And then just bring it in front, soften the front knee, take the hips back the way forwards like you're falling over, and again just gently down. Take a beautiful breath in at the bottom. And out. Inhale. Gorgeous. Well done, guys. Okey dokey. Let's do skater squat, but not into not into um, a hip tight one. So we're going to soften the front knee. You take the back leg, yeah, like that. So you're getting a bit of extension for it, and then you just one, two. Keep that core tight. Three. Skate 
squat, either do eight again, like we've just done, eight on one side, eight on the other, or you can do this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch if you're doing the other one, or continue, eight, seven, six, better on this side. Okay, brilliant. Well done, guys. So, just get to, I think you can see me. It's very hard for me to see if people can see me all right with the sun, but I'm not going to knock it. Okay, so let's get going. Let's do a little bit of a sequence. So, chin to chest, take the hips back, gently rolling down, weight forwards. So, we're going to take it into a little bit of a sequence, guys. So, just walk into your plank. Remember with plank, it's not a downward dog, it's not a cobra, it's a nice straight back. Spread the fingers nice and wide to evenly distribute the weight. Keep the core engaged, just hold. Just gonna hold for about 20 on each one. And then straight from plank, we're gonna take it straight into a downward dog. Walk the hands back a little bit, let the head hang. Take the right heel down towards the floor. Hold that stretch. Then the other side. 
Hold that stretch. So think about all the things you're doing, stabilizing the shoulder joint, stretching the calves. Walk it back in, working through the core, lifting up through the breastbone, hold that position. Hold. Three, two, one. Take the knees down. Bring the elbows backwards as you bring your chest to the floor. Reach forward into that upward dog. Take a breath in. Beautiful. Back into your plank. Hold that position just for 10 seconds. Into your downward dog, walk the hands back. Take both heels towards the floor. Again, don't worry if you can't reach, just do what you can. Hold. Raise the heels, walk it back into plank. Hold again for another 10, 10. Take the knees down, elbows backwards, chest to floor, reach up, take a breath in. Tuck in the tailbone and then just come into a closed position, shell stretch. Sitting on your heels, give your hands a little bit of a pumping action, we've been on wrists a little bit, just to get the movement back. Just rest into shell. You can soften the elbows if you want. Some people like to really lengthen them. Or sometimes I like to just take them backwards and let the hands come towards my feet into like a fetal position. Practice your biggest deep inhale exhalations. Okay, let's come on to our backs. Let's take, so you can do this with a band if you want, but if you want to look first, this exercise, one leg circle, is all about core stability. It's probably, other than push up, it's probably the one exercise that's executed generally quite badly. So I'll just show you how not to do it. So often people bring the leg right up here and they're in imprint. We don't want that, we want the leg to be in neutral, where the pubic bone hip bones are level. And the other thing is that people don't think about a fixed pelvis, that so they start to just rock like this. Which can feel nice, but it's not working the core. So what I want you to do, either hold in the band if you want, I prefer it without, I work the core harder without. Yeah, but you can do it with. Yeah, so you either use the band or take the band away, draw the tummy in, nice flat tummy, neutral spine, and then you take the leg as far out as you can without the hip bones lifting or moving from three to nine on the clock, and then you lower. So you start in neutral spine and you remain in neutral spine. The circle might be much smaller than this. The stronger you get in the core, the further you can take the leg down without tipping the pubic bone. And one more. And then the other way. Concentrate, take the leg in. 
lower, round. Really difficult not to rock a little bit. Two. Three. And last one. Sometimes the hip flexors can kick in, so just take that sole of the foot of the leg you've been lead, leading with into the other inner thigh of the other leg. Just hold, take a nice grip in. And then grab hold, no, let's not grab hold of the band, let's do that in a second. If you've already got the band, just switch feet. If you've not got the band like me, bring the other leg up. Again, so it's not right up here into neutral, into imprint, it's in neutral spine. Tray of drinks are level. When I take the leg out, the tray of drinks do not spill laterally. Keeping the core tight, not letting the tummy do. As I take the leg down, the tray of drinks don't pop into the floor. Oh, when I bring it up, they don't pop into the navel. So again, out to the side. Lower. Imagine you've got two steak thighs anchoring your hip bones down to the mat. Concentrating, you lose the connection through the pelvis. Last one. Jolly good. Put that foot into the inner thigh of the other leg. Take a nice breath in. Beautiful. If you've still got your band, just keep your band in that leg that was like it was already it. Um, otherwise, just take the band. Isn't it a pretty colour, this yellow? And keep it in neutral spine. So even though you can bring your leg right up here, I don't want you to go into imprint. I just want you to hold into that little gap underneath the lumbar spine and just flex the foot. Hold that stretch through the calf. And then switch the band into the other hand and turn, anchor the foot in. And then bend the other knee and just bring that leg across the midline. Hold, you might feel a little bit, a little bit nervy almost underneath the uh, back of the knee down into the calf. Sometimes people feel it right into their ankle bone. Beautiful. Back to centre, take the band in the same hand and then just let this leg come out to the side. Whee! I'm only little but I need a little bit more space. Just into that inner thigh, use the band to pull the leg a little bit closer towards the shoulder. Beautiful, three way hip stretch. And then switch, bring the other leg in, flex the foot, hold. Hold, hold, hold. Bend the knee of the other leg. Anchor the foot inwards. You can anchor it out as well, in and out. That inversion, eversion. Find that inversion and then just gently bring it across the midline into that, flossing that sciatic nerve area. Beautiful. Back to centre. Keep the hamstring stretched before you take it out into inner thigh. Just to keep an eye on the time, everything's going very quick. And then back to centre position. Put both feet in now. So you're in that imprint to start with on this one. So imprint your spine is where the lower back is going into the mat. Normally we do everything in neutral. 
I want you to have a little chin to chest, draw the navel in away from an imaginary hot curl, lift the head and the upper back away from the mat, and see if you can lift up into a teaser position. Hold, and then gently back. Try and use as little momentum as possible. Don't let the shoulders hike up. And back. Have some softness in the knees if it's pulling on your back at all, guys. And again. And up. If you want to try without anything, not easy. navel pushing into the spine guys eight if you really don't like scissors some people don't you can take it into single leg stretch which we're going to do in a sec anyway four watching YouTube then um, the balls are great not everybody likes them underneath the spine if you don't that's fine they're good to put in between the inner thighs for glute work bridge they're nice to put underneath the head as well and do some light like, neck rolls and then let's keep it going for eight Drawing that to me in. Four, seven. Four, six. Five. 
today. And one. Whoa. Well done. Take one foot down. Just bring one knee into chest. Slide the other heel along the floor so the foot's pointed knee slightly bent. Excellent, let's go to the other side. Take the both feet down, lift up to take the ball away if you've got a ball, so you're in your bridge position. Very gently restart the spine back down. Beautiful, let's do two more. Gently roll the lower back into the mat. Start lifting up into your bridge, sending the knees long. Take a breath in. Slowly lower. The video I sent yesterday, lovelies, it stopped recording at 28 minutes um, on YouTube, but I've sent the Zoom one. I'm pretty sure I've sent it to Rachel. That had quite a lot of side leg in, so we're not going to do side leg today. We're going to keep with that abdominal. Is it 5 2? God, I can't see the clock. Right, sorry guys. Oh, it is. I thought it was 10 2. So we're going to lengthen the legs now. We're going to take our arms up to uh, the ceiling, hook somebody, and then retract the shoulders down and keep them there. Widen your hands a little bit. Chin towards the chest. Lift and over. And stick with abdominals. Restart, draw the belly in, C curve, back again. Let's do 12. Forward, restart. Sometimes if you've done quite a bit of um, mobility work and stretch of the hamstrings, which we just have, roll up can feel that bit easier. I'm losing my super bad trousers. <laughs> Not that simple. And then forward. Two more. Done. Beautiful. Okay, let's now do a little bit of supine spine. So take the hands, or the shoulders, sorry, arms up to shoulder height. Glue your legs together. Keep the ball away. Little chin up. Take the knees to the right, the head to the left. Inhaling, letting the belly rise up to the ceiling into that stretch position. Draw the belly in. Use your abdominals to bring the knees back to centre. Let's go in the other direction. Inhaling, letting the belly rise. Out breath. Draw the tummy in. Back to centre. The other direction. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, draw the tummy in, back to centre, the other way. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, draw the tummy in, back to centre, one more. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath. Back to centre and the other direction. Beautiful, well done. Let's come over onto our bellies and let's just literally, I want you to take the hands into cactus arms, tuck the tailbone under, 
and draw that belly away from an imaginary curl and then just lift the head and the chest. Bring the elbows in towards the waist, squeezing the scapula together. And then take your arms backwards, so the palms are facing up to the ceiling. Keep that core tight and see if you can take the right hand and just round it over, okay? And then back again. And the other way. And then back. And just hold. Clasp your hands together. Pull the scapula together, creating a stretch in the chest. And then back down on the floor, windscreen wipe, side to side. Lengthen the left leg, bring the right heel into your butt. Tuck the tailbone to increase the stretch, raise the thigh away a little bit. Holding into that quadricep stretch. Beautiful. The other side, push the pubic bone down, draw the belly in, come on up, pulling the heel into the bum. Beautiful, well done. Bring yourself up and in this position we're going to do it again. Lift up through the breastbone, come up into your downward dog again. Raise the left heel, uh, left heel, the left leg nice and high. And take the right heel towards the floor. Add a little bit of a rotation in the opposite direction to the heel that's down. You can bend if you want. Sometimes that can cramp the hamstring, so be careful of opening up the hip. The other way. Lift, lengthen. And then bring both heels up, soften the knees, straighten the legs, walk the hands back a little bit, walk the heels down, just bounce, 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 soften the knees, walk yourself back to your feet and gently back up. Ah, thanks guys, that went quick.